What's up everyone, welcome back to AZ Droid Tech. My name is Arun and today I have two LG G4s here for you. One of them is running the Marshmallow update that just came in recently and the other one is running Lollipop. So in this video I'll just uh, I'll just be comparing the differences between the two just to see, to, just to notice what differences has have been made or what changes have been made since the Marshmallow update. So on the left here we have the um, um, Marshmallow, the LG G4 with the Marshmallow update. I'm just going to go to uh, settings here to show you guys the Android versions on both phones. Here, let me just unlock this device. And under settings. Okay, so here we are. So under software uh, version, uh, on the left here, you can see we have the Android uh, version 6.0 and on the right here, we have Android 5.1. So uh, the Android 5.1 version is from December 2015. This one just came out on February 1st. So let's go ahead and take a look. Just to clarify, these both uh, devices are uh, Canadian H812 models. Uh, so that's the comparison for, but I don't think there's going to be any difference between different models from different countries when it comes to updates. So the first update that came in uh, with these two devices is uh, uh, basically brightness mode here. So for example, um, if so once you set it to auto, you'll see that the notification slide will automatically show you moving around when uh, when uh, to adjust its automatic brightness levels. On the other hand, on this device here, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't show you. It did uh, take the brightness down a bit, but it didn't show you that the slider went down. So there's no changes here. But on this device, you can see as soon as you uh, turn auto, it will go back to whatever is the best optimal setting for that lighting conditions. So right now here, I have full brightness. I turn auto. The brightness just did go down, but the slider didn't move. That was one change. Second thing that's changed is um, the volume rocker sound. So this is the new marshmallow sound. And on the older device, it was. So slightly different. Uh, I, I personally like the, the new one better just because, you know, it's it echoes and so on. Uh, another thing that they added with Marshmallow is the ability to put your phone onto uh, silent mode. So this is vibration and you can, uh, you actually can't go one down, but you can tap on it and you can go into silent mode. So you can toggle through your volume, uh, vibration and uh, silent off. On uh, on the uh, the regular device here on with the Lollipop, you can, uh, when you go down to your volume, Basically, you can only change between vibrate and volume. That's the only two options here. You can you can't change them. The other option is you know you can you can go to your priority uh, interruptions and then change them from there. But on the Marshmallow update, what what they've done now is you have the option to the do not disturb option. So now you can just press that instead, and uh, it it has changed from all interruptions to just do not disturb basically. Also, they changed the name of uh, Q Memo. So previously, <clears throat> it was called uh, Q Memo. Let me just go ahead and show you guys that. So Quick Memo actually it was called Quick Memo Plus, and that's now changed to Capture Plus. So what it does is basically uh, allows you to document or whatever uh, on your current screen. But they've just changed the name. But there's no other changes in terms of usage. The next uh, change happened uh, in the uh, lock screen. Let's go to my lock screen over here. So under lock screen now for the for the knock code, this is the change. So knock code has been changed. The knock code must at least be six taps and use at least three different quarters. So previously, uh, when you uh, went to your lock screen, and for example, let me just unlock this device here. Uh, a knock code you could basically choose the same you could choose the same quarter and up to three times and done but but now uh, now you have to use at least uh, six of them you, you cannot just use the same quarter or have three tabs and lock your phone so that's changed on this device just wanted to show you guys that then uh, the next change that's happened is the under settings under apps <clears throat> Same thing here. Let me just go into my settings and apps. 
So the app's screen has changed. Basically, here you have a different uh, type of uh, setting here. While on, uh, on the Marshmallow update, it's different. So uh, under app, for example, if you were to click on a certain app, you can see that it's different now. I have my storage option, my permissions. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, how much battery this app has used and how much memory memory it has used. So it's quite different from what uh, we've seen uh, on Lollipop. So another thing that's changed basically is the permission. So you can uh, grant apps permissions or restrict them from using certain permissions. For example, uh, calendar here, uh, we have permissions for your uh, calendar contacts and phone. You can you can decide uh, what permissions or what access you want to give the app to, and uh, use that accordingly. Also, in memory, it basically tells you how much memory a certain app has used uh, in the past three hours or so. That's pretty cool to know. Just so that gives you an idea of what apps are using battery and how much as well. Helps you with that because uh, the more they are in your memory, the more they're going to be using your uh, battery life. Also, changed is on the Marshmallow. You now have an option for Google here so uh, previously there was no option here you can actually go straight to google settings and change any uh, any of your google settings that you want to previously you had to go to google now to get access to this but now you can just uh, access that from your settings next uh, what else has changed uh, we also have um, uh, as i mentioned about memory earlier we also now have uh, the memory section right built into the uh, that settings app we don't have that in in the lollipop update and you can basically choose uh you know how much memory has been used on average in the past three hours or six hours or you know whatever timeline you're gonna you want to choose and then you can also see which apps have used how much memory this, this again gives you a great idea of how well or you know uh how much what apps are using how much memory and when uh the last thing that i've noticed and that's the most important aspect uh, so far for me, especially, is the battery life. Um, obviously, with uh, Android Marshmallow, we have the Doze uh, feature by Android, which allows you to have a longer battery life uh, just by keeping your device on standby mode. So right now, they have uh, very similar um, uh, battery levels at the moment. And I see here that... Uh, on my device says estimated time remaining is 7 hours and 22 minutes uh, and here we have 11 hours and three, 38 minutes my, the battery life on here I see um, is very similar as well from 100 to about uh, 99 or 98 percent uh, you know was just standby time for two hours I, didn't, I wasn't using my device and it was just there whereas the drop uh, on, on this device is slightly heavier but again, this is it hasn't been 24 hours since I've been using this device, so I don't know how good or you know bad that the battery life is. Right now, from what I see here, is the time on on this device is two hours and 17 minutes, and I still have 71% battery life left. Ignore the airplane mode; it was just turned out a few minutes ago, so that doesn't count. And here uh, we have um, one hour and 41 minutes, and it has used more battery life. So. Uh, Right away, it's kind of um, you know uh, you know it's sad. To, I'm I'm kind of sad to see that it's using more battery life than on Lollipop. But then again, on my device, for some reason, on this specific device, uh, it was using more battery life than than this. And I have pretty much similar apps on both. In fact, this one has more apps on it. Uh, Snapchat takes a lot of battery too. Facebook, and so on. But uh, those are those were just the main differences between these two devices. Uh, between Marshmallow in terms of performance, I haven't noticed any difference. They've been uh, perfectly uh, smooth for me. Uh, we're perfectly fine. No lag at all. Uh, no problems there. So it's been working fine. And, um, and that's that's all the changes that I, that I have noticed so far. If you have any questions or if you think that I've missed anything, please uh, post them in the comments below. Uh, please let me know if there's anything else that I need to you know take a look at. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, keep watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.